All right, yo, what up, y'all? Welcome to the club, the turkey club. I have a homemade turkey club sandwich that I just whipped up. Some homemade fries, well, not homemade, like frozen, just kind of did them in the little toaster oven. And then a homemade, this is homemade for real, uh, chipotle mayo. Of course, I got the Hidden Valley of the Shadow of Ranch. Just in case this gets a little dry along the way, I think I'm gonna need to hit some uh, sauce dabs on it. Uh, my ice machine is acting a fool, so, I just threw this Pepsi uh, Zero in the freezer for a little bit so it's lightly chilled so I want to get to it quick. I'm not going to pour it up because I don't have ice. I do have a little water here as well just in case but uh, excited to get to this sandwich. It looks super super banging. I'll let you know about it a little bit uh, as I get into it but I got to crack this and get a sip. I got to wet the appetite right now because I am hurting for a little. Squirting while it's still a little bit cold. Okay, first things first, I do actually just want to try. Oh yeah, and also I have like this little jail tray here, this little <laughs> jail plate, kind of what it reminds me of. Really, it's just for my uh, my toaster oven. But this is Chipotle mayo. These fries. Let's wet wet those things up a little bit. All right, looks good. Drippy, drippy. Bang, killed it. So killed it. Ratio is perfect. I don't like when Chipotle mayos are too smoky, when there's too much Chipotle in it. That's why making it at home. You can just get it to be exactly the level that you want. If you got the Midas touch like that. Okay. Let's clear that out. The palette, of course, and get to this bad boy. So good. So, this is a Portuguese bun. They're amazing. Toasted off. I got shaved real turkey from the deli. Bacon, tomato, lettuce, and also in there, in the middle, there's mayo, and I put crispy onion bits. But let's give this thing a 360 view. Like that, a little more meaty there. But yeah, this thing looks banging. And it's big. It's like Whopper size. But stands way taller. I put mayo on the bottom in the middle and on the top. <laughs> I gotta give it to myself. I'm a sandwich construction god. I always debate where to put like lettuce and tomato on the bottom and the meat on the top or the meats on the bottom and the the uh, veggies on the top but I say veggies <clears throat> on the bottom is really really working knew it was going to happen. Oh, 
Peter North by the ranch, of course. What else? But a ranch bite did have to have to eventually pop off a little more. Okay, last close up, I swear. Just gotta give you the oh yeah, that gooey drippy bite. Wow. Topping out on the charts of my like best turkey clubs I've ever made at home. Real talk. Pardon me, but I decided I wanted a couple kosher dills. I figured it wouldn't be a proper sandwich video without Awesome pickle. If you've been with me long enough, you already know. Just the best. So, easy now. Don't shift on me. Let's get you into a better scenario here. So, speaking of real talk. I gotta tell you, some real, real shit. A little adventure, a little discovery, one, one might say, is uh, I was in bed the other night, about to take my sleeping pill, and by that I mean I was perusing the hub. I assume most of you know what the hub is. But uh, on the trending page was one triple OG ASMR creator named Gwen Gwiz. <laughs> um, so I see the video. I see her and I'm like, yo, no way. This shit has to be fake. She always said on her channel that she would never end up down that route. She would never end up actually doing like anything like that, like, like nude or OnlyFans. Now her channel got quite thoughty with her try-ons and hauls and all that. So in my head, I was always like, it's a matter of time, it's inevitable. She's, she's eventually gonna end up doing some OnlyFans shit, for sure. So, of course, I'm curious. I click into the video thinking it might be a fake. It's not. It's real. Um, this video was her going to town on herself solo. And uh, I'll tell you this. She puts on the seductive, like, freak persona very well. So it's probably authentic. It's probably very natural. And uh, so I'm blown away. I'm just like, wow. She finally did it. It's real. It's actually happening. Many 12-year-old boys' dreams are coming true. because it got leaked to the hub, of course. Otherwise they would need to steal their parents' credit card to gain access. But so 
I'm watching it. I'm floored. Now, you know on the hub how there's like, there's the main video and then like recommendeds relative. There's another like four or five leaks. Of her. And one of them is she just opened this like not even like a month ago. <laughs> and she's already like lined up with some guy in her life. There's a video of like a schoolgirl and like her teacher comes to her house and shit and like she blows him in the kitchen <laughs> and then bangs him on the couch and it's like the whole deal. And uh I was like, in my head, like that escalated quickly. <laughs> like for someone who said like, I'm never gonna do this to like, you already have a legitimate porn that you authored yourself. <laughs> Seems like you might've been planning this for a little while. Now, I'm not out. Do your thing. Your life, your choice, get your bag. It's up to you. I don't give a shit. Also, straight up, she's not really my type. Let's just say she didn't end up being my bedtime medicine. I'll tell you that. I prefer a different flavor. She's the quintessential standard, like hot blonde type girl. Not my thing. I like them a bit thicker, shorter, darker complexion, brunettes, things like that. So I was good on it. I just had to see it for myself. Now, of course, my next move was I got to go to her most recent ASMR video on her channel to see does she have the link? Is it like, did she tell people about this or what? Like, what, what, what are the comments going to be? I have to see the comments. So I run over to her channel and I go to her most recent video, which is like a month ago, a mm, month ago, three weeks ago. No mention from her of anything, but in the comments, because she trended on the hub, there's all these people chopping her, chop, like, well, there's a bunch being supportive and like empowering and then a bunch of people chopping her up. So I'm just getting crazy entertainment out of that now too. Just listening to reading all the comments of her getting chopped and then people being like, no, no girl, it's 2020. Like who gives a shit? Get your bag and da, 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 da. And I stay with that energy. Get your bag, do your thing. My only thing is this, and I understand why some people cut her up the way that they did. And it's th this is why. It's because she opened it on the sneak, on the sly, and then it leaked to, to, to the hub. And then her fans on her ASMR thing became aware of it. And that to me just shows like you're on ASMR channel, you're wearing a mask. You're saying one thing, but doing another being and wait for it. Here's the dad pun of the century. Disingenuous, <laughs> disingenuous relative to your people who like mainly have supported you all this time. I feel as if, if she just admitted it right off the hop and like kind of like advertise it on her channel. It would have went different. It's just like she was trying to have her cake and eat it too. Then got caught, then got roasted a little bit. Ultimately it doesn't matter. It's, it's all going to like be 
passing by and now that her channel knows about it it's just going to get better for her so she wins either way and she now that it kind of i don't want to say blew up on her but it was mildly uh turbulent for a moment she came out with a video, like I think, I don't know, 45 minutes or something long, it's just explaining everything. Of course she's making a fucking killing. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I would kill to be a hot girl in today's economic climate with the internet. I would 100% be making bags from my bedroom off my body, you know? I can make like 50 grand a month <laughs> from the comfort of my bedroom just from my body like or I can make like 30 grand a year slaving as like a waitress dealing with the public having bosses and shit being bitched at told what to do I'll easily sacrifice a little bit of my moral value to just make like a year's salary in a month from my bedroom. In the Western world, money's power and money's freedom, man. I don't know about you, but I definitely want freedom. And having having the money to have the power to actually make moves that give you more and more freedom. That's just the that's that sounds like the dream to me. Isn't that what like America's founded off? Freedom and being able to to do that via, you know, economic resources. That's what most people are striving to achieve. So get your bag. But yeah, it was just uh, very shocking. Also kind of expected. I knew it would be a matter of time that she ended up there. I, I, you could just tell by the way her channel was going. She was, it was getting more and more sexual as it went on because clearly the views and views equal money, right? So. Clearly money was the motive. And where can you make most of that? Only fans. Just makes sense. So, to all my uh, young men viewers, or any men viewers, who uh, have watched her and, and aren't privy to this, you're welcome. Have a good night tonight. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.